Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working on Module 7, Lesson 7, and tonight we are solving problems using mixed units of length. So we're going to be doing what we did yesterday a lot, uh, which is converting units back and forth in order for us to solve addition and subtraction problems uh, using units. Okay, let's take a look at a couple problems from tonight's homework. Problem number one, directions are pretty straightforward. Determining the, determine the following sums and differences and show your work. I'm going to work on two problems here, one F and one H. Let's see, uh, on one F, we have a somewhat simpler problem it looks like um, because we have all our units are the same, right? Seven inches plus seven inches. So that's pretty straightforward. I'm going to just say that that's 14 inches. But I'm noticing something about 14 inches, which is that it, there's enough inches there for us to create a foot, right? So we're going to use a number bond maybe to split up into 12 and 2 inches, right? Because 12 inches will make a foot, and we've got 2 inches left over. And that's it's that simple, right? 14 inches is the same as 1 foot and 2 inches, and we were able to figure that out with a number bond and our knowledge of the conversions between feet and inches. Let's take a look at number 1H. Number 1H says, what if we had 2 feet and we subtracted 6 inches? So here's another one of those cases where we have mixed units. So we need to make some inches so that we have some to subtract. So I'm going to do that this way. I'm going to say, let me break down 2 feet into 1 foot and 12 inches. And once I've broken 2 feet down that way, I can do my subtraction, right? Because now I have 12 inches and I can subtract 6 inches from that and I'll end up with 6 inches. And I have my remaining 1 foot over here. And that actually makes sense, right? If we, Because if we started with one foot six inches and we had added six inches, we would have made the hole two feet. And so the reverse works as well. The hole, two feet, minus one of the parts, six inches, gives us the other part, one foot six inches. Awesome. Let's take a look at one problem from number two. Number two, the directions are, again, very simple. Find the following sums and differences. Show your work. Let's take a look at 2E. 2E gives you a sort of a mixed unit number, 7 feet 8 inches, and asks you to add in 5 inches. So let's just combine the like units first. So we'd have 7 feet, and we'd have 8 inches plus 5 inches would be 13 inches. But again, as we had in number 1, we've got a case where we've got 13 inches, and we know that 13 inches we could break down into 12 inches, which would make a foot, right, and just one other inch. So now we can combine our foot that we've created with our 7 feet over here to give us 8 feet overall. And we've also got our 1 inch left over, uh, 8 feet 1 inches. And again, this makes sense, right? This, these are the two parts, 7 feet 8 inches and 5 inches. And if we add those two parts together, we end up with a hole, which is a little over 8 feet, 8 feet 1 inch. And, and that makes sense. Let's take a look at one last problem from tonight's homework, problem number 4. We'll use our read draw, and write strategy, starting with reading. The length of the room is 11 feet 6 inches. The width of the room is 2 feet 9 inches shorter than the length. What is the width of the room? Okay, well, let's do the drawing of this. So let's see, we've got a length, and the length is, I'll just put that as L, the length is 11 feet, 11 feet 6 inches. Great. And we know what the width is. We don't know exactly, but we know that it's shorter. How much shorter? It is 2 feet 9 inches shorter. So the width is this long, right? It's not as long as the width, and we know exactly how much shorter it is than that length, right? So we've got a length of 11 feet 6 inches. We subtract away this amount, and we would get this. So we just need to do this as subtraction. This is really just 11 feet. 6 inches minus 2 feet 9 inches. And if we had enough of each unit, right, if we had enough inches so that we could do the subtraction and we had enough feet so we could do the feet, we'd be all set. But we don't. We don't have enough inches. We can't start with 6 inches and then take away 9 inches. So we're going to need to create some more inches. And so basically we can decompose one of those feet, right? We can describe this as 10 feet and then that'll give us 12 more inches, right? That extra foot that we've taken off gives us 12 more inches to go with these 16. So it's 10 feet and 18 inches minus 2 feet, 9 inches. And now we can do our subtraction, right? 18 inches minus 9 inches is 9 inches. And 10 feet minus 2 feet is 8 feet. 
8 feet 9 inches. So our writing portion will be the width, whoop, the width is 8 feet 9 inches. Awesome. And that would make sense, right? If our width was nine, 8 feet 9 inches and we had added on to it 10 feet, I'm sorry, 2 feet 9 inches, we would have something over, something more than 10 feet, something even more than 11 feet, we would have something about 11 feet 6 inches. And that makes sense. So I'm pretty satisfied that our redrawn write strategy has allowed us to figure out the width of the room. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.